Well, you know, some of the biggest names in music have made a tour stop here in Buffalo over the years, and for more than two decades now, it was Jeffrey Barnes' job to capture all of those moments and capture them on camera. Well, those photographs are now on display at the Buffalo History Museum, and as Two On Your Size Karis Belju shows us, it wasn't always easy getting that perfect shot. For years, Jeffrey Barnes had one of the best seats in the house. Of all the concerts I've shot, I've shot, I don't know, maybe close to uh, maybe 60, 70 concerts. As a photographer for Sports and Leisure magazine, Barnes captured some of the most memorable acts to play the Queen City. Being up close and seeing the, the reaction um, and having that feeling like you're right there with them, that's probably one of my favorite things about shooting concerts. And for him, every shot has a story. From Kiss. They interact with the photographers that are in the pit. To you too. And that was the film back then when I shot that. That was the film days. And Aretha Franklin. That was at the Seneca Niagara Casino, 2006. And she just let it all out. It was a great concert. There are just some of the famous faces you'll see in the exhibit of Barnes's work at the Buffalo History Museum. According to him, they're the best of the best. But Barnes will be the first to tell you getting that perfect shot isn't as easy as it looks. Typically you have two or three songs to, to get the photographs. And choosing which ones to put on display was even harder. I couldn't narrow it down. So what I did was I just kind of chose a progression of the different expressions he was making during the show. Just a few memories Barnes wants others to enjoy when they come to the museum. Well, I hope when they look at the pictures that they remember being at that certain event and they remember, you know, what that concert did for them. Kara Spelger, Channel 2 News.